notes or anything, so I'm just going to wing it. Um, my name is Ariel Wilson. Um, kind of the moral of my story is don't lie to people about your abilities when you're about to do something sports related. And also don't tell your brothers um, that you're in pain or else they might do something else to you to distract you. So that's the moral of my story. And I'm number nine out of 11 kids. I have seven brothers. So this story starts when we were going on a skiing trip which we do as a family all the time. And um, I was the only girl on the trip, so it was just me and my seven brothers. And um, I lied to my brothers and told them that I could handle a black diamond. So we went to the top, we've been skiing for a while, and um, we did some easier courses first, and I did good because I'm mildly athletic, and so I thought I would be okay. And so we get up to the black diamond, and I just go for it. And um, a little backstory, right before we started skiing, um, they ask you about like what your level of experience is, and so I just told them I was intermediate for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and apparently when you tell them that you're intermediate, they tighten um, the boots on your skis so that they can't pop off, basically. And so mine were tightened and I didn't even know. And so we go up to the Black Diamond and we go down and I'm doing okay about the first half and then we get into an area of the course and there's a bunch of ramps everywhere and so my brothers are going off the ramps one of my brothers skis professionally and so i thought i could do it and so i went off one of the ramps and um basically just flung my body into the woods that were on the side and um shattered most of almost everything from just above my knee down on my right leg and um I got scratched and everything, but the worst thing was my leg, and my skis obviously didn't come off because they were tightened right before I went up there. So um, all the ambulances and everything come, and they take us to the hospital in Colorado, and we're from Oklahoma, and so um, our insurance wasn't going to work there, and so basically we just had to drive back to Oklahoma City. And so they just propped me in this van, um, and I was in ridiculous pain, didn't have any painkillers or anything, and... Um, so we're on our way back to Oklahoma City, and it's just me and my seven brothers in this van. And I'm just crying, trying to be tough, trying not to talk to my brother who told me that it was a good idea to go on the Black Diamond. And um, he, uh, they start making fun of me that I'm not tough enough. And um, so uh, my brother Isaiah um, asked if, he wanted, if I wanted him to do anything to try and get my mind off of the pain. And so I said, yeah, do whatever you want. And um, I didn't have a sock on or anything, so my brother Isaiah, who's six foot nine, about 250 pounds, um, comes over and he breaks my toe on accident, thinking that he was going to uh, maybe scratch it or do something to get my mind off the pain, and he breaks my toe. And so I start screaming and um, yeah, cussing. There was lots of things going on, lots of things being said, and. Um, so we finally get back to Oklahoma City, and my toe's just hanging, who's trying to put it back, and obviously it doesn't work that way. Um, so we get back to Oklahoma City, we get into the emergency room, and they um, start asking me questions about um, what happened, and I said it was a skiing accident, and they're really confused why my toe is broken, because it really doesn't happen when you're wearing ski boots. And they're like, man, we've never seen this before. Um, and so um, they thought that maybe I was being abused, and so they had DHS come and do an investigation of why my toe was broken, and um, finally my brother Isaiah just broke down and admitted that he was the one that did it, and so he had to pay $3,000 um, by law, even though he was related to me, and even though I didn't say that he had to or anything, he had to pay $3,000 to towards my hospital bill. So, um, they weren't surprised, obviously, about the shin damage and everything on my leg, but the toe situation was surprising and um, not normal. So. Moral of the story, don't tell your brothers um, to distract you from your pain and don't lie about your abilities on skiing trips. <laughs>